Hi everyone, welcome to another uh, Abacus tutorial. Today we're going to look at axisymmetric elements and uh, it's going to be the case of a spinning disk. So we'll start here with standard and explicit models and as usual we'll just go in and create the part that we'll call disk which was going to be in the axisymmetric model space so that's really here that we're defining the, the type of analysis and we're going to use shell or flat elements for the disk so the base feature is going to be a wire continue here i'll create a disk that has an inner diameter of 20 millimeters and an outer diameter of 30. so i'll come use the line tool and input in the box at the bottom 20 0 and 30 0. and when this is uh, spin around the green axis here it forms a disk M middle mouse button to accept keep accepting then I obtain my part next we're going to create the material today we're going to use aluminum and define it in the millimeter newton consistent unit space so that means that the density is tons per millimeter cube and for aluminum it's going to be 2.7 the minus 9 and the elastic properties that are 70,000 MPA and 0 0.3 for Poisson's ratio that's good now we're going to create a section based off this material and call it just section and the section is a um, shell section homogeneous shell section continue and we're going to assign a thickness of one okay go back in the part and assign this section to the part section assignment i'm going to pick the disk here create a set named all done and assign the section okay so now the section is assigned and finally create the mesh and we're going to use 10 quadratic elements so in here with the global seed of one we're going to achieve 10 elements so i'll apply this my seeds appear. I will mesh the part. Yes. And go in and change the element type. So here I'll just pick the part, middle mouse button, and go change the geometric order from linear to quadratic. So uh, an additional middle node is created in, in every element. So I accept this. OK. And done. Next, I'm gonna create the assembly and the step. So I'm gonna import the part in the assembly. Create an instance from part, okay. Create the step, which is gonna be a static general. Uh, even though it's spinning, we're still using uh, static because it's a, it's, it's a constant state, constant rotation speed. So then I'll click continue. By default options are fine click ok now in the boundary conditions i'll create one boundary condition that limits the disk to move along the z direction so it's it's not going up and down so i'll create it in the initial and i'll call it bc z and displacement and rotation select the whole thing middle mouse button u2 so i'll press ok we can see these little orange triangles appearing that means the boundary condition has been applied next i'll create a load in the spinning step that i'll call centrifugal and here a very specific type of load provided by abacus is the rotational 
body force. Click continue. And here I'll select everything from, from the set in the region selection prompt. Click continue. Distribution uniform, and then I'll define my speed in rad per second, because the time right now is seconds, to a thousand. That's around 9,000 RPM. And click OK. So now the load has been applied. That's it. So now I'll create the job. I will call it spinning. Continue. By default, options are fine. This is a pretty small model to solve. And then we'll submit the job. Jobs completed. Let's look at the results. So now we can look at the stress. Uh, we see here the, the, the disc is is being stretched out as it's spinning and then we're going to be interested in s11 that is the radial stress and s22 that is the hoop stress and then it's kind of lame to just have this this bar displayed for a part so i'll show you a way to to improve the display and actually see the disc and you'll be able to find this in the odb display options where you can sweep your your part. So I'll sweep the bar we have here, the axis symmetric element, over 360 degrees with let's say 100 segments and apply. And now we can see our disc, which is a much nicer representation of it. Again, we can look at the radial stress and the hoop stress. I'll go back to the simpler representation in order to extract the results from the nodes. All right, so here I'll show you how to extract the stress values and export them to a text file or an Excel format so we can compare our solution to the exact solution. So in the results here, we're going to create a path because then the, the, the data are going to be extracted along this path. So you can double click on path and we're going to use the point list. So I'm just going to call this path because this is the only one we're going to create point list continue. I know my coordinates are from 20 to 30. So we can see the path appearing here and this path will be extracted on the on the form model ship. So I click OK. And then next step is going to create is going to be to create an XY data. So click on this button and the source is a path. So I continue. And you'll want your the path we created on the on the form model just for for referencing the position. Point location is going to be a path point and you have to check this so it picks up everything along the way. And here in the field output, we're going to just start first with the radial stress. So I'll apply, OK, and then I can plot it just to verify. And we'll save this data. I'll call this S11. OK, so it has been saved here in the background in, in the XY data. I'll go back again in there, create S22, apply, OK, plot, so we can see a different shape, and save that one as S22, OK, and then we're done here. So I can plot these two together uh, with this tool here, so we have the two stress distribution, but really what we want to do is extract them out from Abacus, so I'll go in the report, X, Y, select these two guys. And in the setup, it, it let, lets me know where I want to save it. So I don't want to append it to old files. And it's going to go to the Abacus report. These by default options are all working fine. So then I'll apply. And yes, I want to overwrite my old file. And then you can see here in the message window that the file has been 
uh, created or written. So I can go in Notepad++ and open this file. Abacus report open. And here, that's what we get. So what you can do is copy this or import it in any ways to Excel, uh, which I already did. So that's what we get here. These values are the same as the one in the text file. And I also found the expressions of the exact solution that were generated here in the background with these two uh, equations for radial and hoop stress. And basically what we see here on the plot is that the solid lines, which are the analytical solutions, are matching perfectly the abacus solution. So, well, we have a match and we're happy. So, well, that's it for the tutorial on axisymmetric elements. Thank you.